say goodbye to the Sierra Madre. I trapped the big bad, big bad guy. I'm gonna leave. Since I haven't left anything. The survivors of the Sierra Madre thought about gathering at the fountain and waiting for the courier. In the end, the caller's silence made them uneasy, and the fear of turning on each other made them hesitate and leave the goodbyes unspoken. The radio message at the fountain was enough for them, and there was no need to add another farewell on top of all they had suffered. Dog forgot himself, as did the voice that raged within him. After their passing, a new voice spoke within the mutant shell. It was difficult for the voice to remember the two it once was. There was the beast, dog, consumed by hunger. And the other in reverse, the one consumed by control. Both were driven by need for the other. The courier brought them together somehow, joined the two into one. All that happened at the Sierra Madre was a faint memory to the new personality, like a flickering light in the clouds of the mind. The new voice did not think of the courier again until the battle at the Divide reached his ears. The battle between the two couriers, beneath the torn skies and the old world flag, each bearing a message for the other. And the mutant prayed the courier that had saved him had been saved in return. Dean Domino, entertainer, singer, thief, explored the Sierra Madre not long after he was rescued by the courier. Once he left the theater, the Sierra Madre recognized him as a guest, and many doors opened to him. He had to admit it had been built to last. During his search, he came across the final records of Vera and Sinclair and realized what happened the night the bombs fell. He felt strangely sad for a moment and he had no idea why. Shrugging it off, his mind turned instead to where the courier had come from. Vegas still survived out there in the Mojave. It's sights, sounds, and casinos, ripe for the taking. So, giving the Sierra Madre one last nod and a wink, he set off beyond the cloud to begin again. Christine, her mission complete, found new purpose as the Sierra Madre's warden. She watched over it silently, by choice. Over time, the ghost people came to see her as one of the holograms. They would watch, silently, as she walked among them. At times, Christine thought of the courier, who had kept Elijah's hand from her throat. The courier reminded her of the other courier she had met in the Big Empty, and wondered if the two had found each other at last. She did not think of them again until she heard the legends of the Divide. The Divide, where the two messengers, the two couriers, fought beneath an ancient flag at the edge of the world. You heard of the Sierra Madre Casino? We all have. The legend, the curses. Some foolishness about it lying in the middle of a city of dead. A city of ghosts. Beneath a blood-red cloud. A bright, shining monument, reaching out, luring treasure hunters to their doom. An illusion. A promise that you can change your fortunes.
begin again. Finding it, though. That's not the hard part. It's letting go. 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 Wait a moment. Before you go, I... We... Hope you've enjoyed your stay. Farewells can be a time of sadness. Letting go... Difficult. As a guest of the Sierra Madre, you know that truth more than anyone. Frederick Sinclair believed one's life could be made anew every day. That fortunes were more than the wealth in your hands. Love. Life. Family. Those to care for, and those who will care for you. To those who know these joys, the Sierra Madre holds little they don't already have. Out in the world, beyond these walls, that is your chance to begin again. I hope you'll return in happier times. Until then, the Sierra Madre and I will hold you in our hearts. Wait a moment before you go.